SSM Central School Kindergarten. We welcome you all for our Blossom Day celebration. Hi everyone, I am Lakshana, anchor of today's program. It's my great pleasure to see you all on this special occasion. To begin this occasion, let me call upon our square team to invoke the blessing of the Almighty. I'm 
Let's 
playing in the sand, pink and white. Oh, what a lovely sight. To you aunt, are you friends? As a gift, you can send daisies, daisies everywhere. Oh, what a lovely sight. Oh, what a lovely sight. Oh, what a lovely sight. Thank you.
Comb, comb, comb your hair early in the morning. Drink, drink, drink your milk early in the morning. Go, go, go to school early in the morning. Thank you. Comes Rory. with the brown. 
long and thank you.
respected parents, teachers and uh, my dear students. Good morning to all of you. Good morning. So, after two years of pandemic, I guess you see that performance of the children, even we, we have to appreciate they were able enough to stand on the stage. That itself is a great achievement. I used to feel very bad, very sad about uh, pre-KG, LKG, UKG, first standard students. The reason is they need a lot of care and attention to start their studies. We used to give enormous support in all means to come up in their life, to start their learning process. We have excellent teachers here to train them in communication skill and many other areas. Because of this pandemic, we couldn't do anything. I remind all the parents not to worry about this, not to give much stress to the children in the coming days. And in fact, I just wanted to remind all the parents few things. Very happy to see that almost all the parents are graduated. Almost all the parents are graduated. That is another advantage. So it is easy for the parents to convey or else no. Uh, can be a second teacher, can be a second trainer. Earlier it was not like that. It is the responsibility of the uh, school to take care of completely. But now, parents are all educated. They are sometimes more educated than even teachers and the principal. That is very good to see and hear. Even then, I just wanted to remind you a few things. What is meant by parenting? Who is a parent? Recently, we had a program in that, you know, I addressed the parents and uh, taught them about the different types of uh, parents, different types of parents, and uh, what is the best kind of uh, parent or else a parenting. Today, I thought of reminding you another idea. What is your minimum responsibility? I don't want to tell you the big responsibility. I just wanted to tell you minimum responsibility. See, most of the parents when they send a child to school, their expectations are very huge. Remember that. You expect many things. Your son or daughter has to come up in life in a very different way. They, they, should, they must be successful in their life. They must be successful. And they should speak good English. When they stand on the stage, they, they're supposed to perform very high. These all are the dreams of whom? Parents. We are for that. But I need the support from the parents in five areas. Only five areas. One is, we will train them here communication skill. The ability of a, of a person to convey the message, convey the knowledge effectively to another person or to a group. That is called communication skill. The ability of a person, if I am standing on the stage, I must be able enough to convey what I learned, what is the knowledge I gained, acquired to the group in front of or the or a person in front of me effectively. So I just want, since all of you are educated, I just wanted to remind you only one thing. First is what? Polish the communication skill. How you can polish the communication skill? Purposefully we'll have to do it. For example, when you wanted to take water or a tumbler from one place to another place, when you are in the kitchen, when you are in the front room, you can ask the child, bring that glass. Go and take the class. That means no small, small sentences, simple sentences. It is not necessary to teach with what? Complicated language. Don't do that. Teach them or else try to use simple English at home. What is the first point? Try to use simple English. So that 
we call it as polishing the communication skill because they are already training we are already training them in the school and when the parents are giving little more effort what will happen naturally it will give added advantage and that's my point second point is you know you are all uh, you know now in front of me what you're doing what are you doing now you are listening to my speech correct or not you are listening and trying to understand what i am trying to convey that is called listening skill so all of you will have to speak gently with a clear with a clear sentences with the clear words you have to teach them to be a good listener you have to teach them to be a good listener understand my point first is what polish the communication skill somehow try to use english here and there and to be a good communicator second is what listener for that you need to do two things one is you must be a good listener when the child is speaking you have to listen then only when you speak he will listen or she will listen so somehow through some tactics you know that you know, I, i already told you you all are educated through some kinds of tactics what you need to do you have to develop the listening skill you have to develop the listening skill you know one thing earlier and all we used to say intelligence is very high intelligent student intelligent student intelligent student that is an old story that's an old story okay along with intelligence there are lots of other different types of categories are the intelligence itself now one of the one of the prominent intelligence is social intelligence remember social intelligence the ability of the child to tackle the society where he is living even if he is a doctor or engineer or any other profession if he is not a good uh, uh, person with a good social intelligence he will be cornered in the society you can see that many people who won't come out of the house and they won't mingle with anyone we say that we don't know who is staying there they won't mingle with anyone so man is a social being so social intelligence has to be set from the very young stage onwards how that's the third point learn to be in the team teach them in the team when you are when they are the team appreciate you ask them who are your friends and you know learn to talk to their friends from the very young age you find little time to talk to their friends so that our children will start to develop a kind of bond with the team members and their social intelligence will go high and this my point so it is not about don't be selfish like my daughter my son my daughter my son you don't speak like that instead your friends your friends are also very important tell me the names of your friends i want to talk to them when they, when you meet here you just uh, who is your friend then talk to them so that your son is watching your uh, daughter will be watching what will happen and this child will start to speak to their friends continuously and they will start to develop what what social intelligence which is very important to live in the society in fact this is a life skill in fact this is a life skill okay so that is the third point only two more points your expectations uh, expectations are very high that is a problem here okay you will start to teach the child like anything uh, from the from lkg onwards so the fifth point is the fifth fourth point is so i told three things number one is the what polish their uh, communication skill and uh, develop what develop what ah that is a uh, um, listener to be a good listener third point is what uh, encourage them to be in the team fourth is no you every time here also you can see that especially in cbse schools we can see that the mother and father will play the major role if there is a program in the school mother and father will be more tense than who the child really you can see that they will come like anything and they will make sure that they, my son wanted to get the first prize no compromise on that you will never leave them you will never leave them that is a fourth point teach them to be independent teach them to be independent 
independent. Yes, independent. What is that? That is the beauty of life. When the child is able enough to do the programs in their own, that is the beauty of life. So teach them to be what? Independent. Then what is your role? That is the fifth point. What is your role? That is the fifth point. You, everybody will wake up in the morning, will go to bed at night. The life is in between. You wake up till go to bed. That is called life. Sleeping, what we do, what we do, we don't know. Am I right? We'll be dreaming. All those things will happen. So, what is life? Life is between the time we wake up to the time we go to bed. That is called life. Set routine programs. Set clear-cut routine programs. For example, wake up at 6:30. Be a habit. Sunday, you sleep up to 10 o'clock. Don't do that. Holidays, you sleep up to 12 o'clock. Don't do that. Set clear-cut routine. You also do that. The father and mother should be the model, role model. From that point, I just wanted to take to the one point, authoritative parenting. Authoritative parenting means they will set clear rules, expectations, everything, constant discussion with the, with the child to ensure that child is able to reach the parent and child uh, parent can reach the uh, students as well. So these five, po five points if you follow, I am sure that you don't want to worry in any circumstances. You don't want to think about your child in any circumstances. They will come up in their life like anything. Because their communication skill is good, their listening skill is good, they, were able, they are able to, to play in the team, and they are independent, finally they have a routine habit. What will happen? They will be very good human being. They will be excellent person. What else you want? What else you are expecting from the child? This is more than enough. Life is so simple, don't make it complicated. Life is so simple, don't make it complicated. These five points you just follow, your children will be perfect. Your children will be excellent. Okay? So I congratulate, I was wondering, I am very uh, happy to see, especially speech is, you know, oratory skill. Oratory skill is a wonderful skill. When, when the child is on the stage, and even if they say thank you, that's a great job. Because when I did MED, I used to tell my teachers, when I did MED, I, we, we used to have program, like a thought for the day. Every day we'll have to stand on the stage and speak. You know one thing, first day when I stood on the stage, I, the total uh, person in, in front of me was converted to darkness. I couldn't see anything. Why? Fear, shy. Now you see, from that point, I can speak maybe 10 hours, 10,000 or 1 lakh people are standing in front of me. I don't give any any kind of tension or shy feeling. What is the reason? I am speaking to you what I learned. That communication skill we have to receive. We have to train the children from very young age. And I just wanted to congratulate the girl who had a wonderful speech here today. And also the performance of that uh, Bharatanatyam. And also the uh, uh, invocation song, that speech, comparing. And many students came forward with the wonderful uh, uh, small, small presentation. Uh, the beauty of life is we, we see, don't see from a complicated angle. Don't see life from a complicated angle. See the life from a simple angle very easy angle so that you know things will come up also i just wanted to advise the parents father and mother keep good attitude positive attitude positive mindset good mindset speak good in front of the children and always teach them good and uh, i congratulate chitra and uh, the teachers for organizing this wonderful event today with the less notice and they had a wonderful program earlier also like uh, summer beach party so they proved that they're again good okay and i i expect more and more programs from the kg uh, teachers including up to two, second standard you all will have to cooperate okay this is a teamwork you are the you are on one side teachers on the other side let us uh, let us play our role in an excellent way to ensure that our students are coming up in life in a successful most efficient manner once again i congratulate everyone thank you very much
principal, parents, teachers and my dear friends and non-teaching staff who made this occasion in wonderful manner. Once again, I like